Hello YouTube, my name is Annie. It's been a while since I've posted a video, but um, I have something pressing on my mind and something that I've wanted to uh, share as it relates to gay church, um, homosexual ministers, preachers, that sort of thing. Um, first of all, I want to start with um, just an admonition towards understanding scripture and um, giving it its rightful place in our lives. Uh, 2 Timothy 3.16 says that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Paul is telling Timothy here in this letter, I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom, Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. For the time will come when they will not endure, 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 whatever, sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers, and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. But you be watchful in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. Let not many of you become teachers, knowing that we shall receive a stricter judgment. That being said, um, this is the reason I don't see myself as an evangelist, uh, but I am a born-again Christian. Therefore, um, it is my obligation, it is my desire, my duty... Um, and my greatest joy to know the Word of God. Um, and the Word of God is clear that homosexuality is a sin um, and that it is a behavior. And um, as just as all sin, um, you know, Jesus gives you the way out. Um, I just want to pose a question. If you are following a minister or you are sitting in a church receiving the teaching um, of a pastor that you knew was um, actively participating in an affair he's married and maybe has children he's leading this church and the whole congregation knew that he was actively um, participating in adultery and he didn't. He had no intentions of repenting. He had no intentions of of um, asking forgiveness of the Lord and of the congregation and the people that he sinned against, his wife, namely. Um, would you continue to sit under his instruction if you had a pastor or a minister that you knew um, just knocked over the corner Seven Eleven? and was boasting about it in church and telling the congregation yeah I just made off with some Slim Jims and a Red Bull um, and he was proud of this fact would you stand behind him and um, support that um, I believe that any Christian would be convicted by the Holy Spirit of uh, behavior such as that the Bible clearly calls adultery um, Stealing, all these things sinful. The Bible also calls homosexuality sinful. And because of that, um, to ordain and stand behind and support a minister uh, that, that, that openly um, preaches or believes that this is okay, um, that's that's just against the will of God. It's against His Word, and I encourage you to seek the Lord in prayer and and earnestly um, study the Word and ask the Holy Spirit for truth regarding these matters. And um, it's not okay. It's okay. You want gay people. You want thieves, you want adulterers, you want fornicators, you want them to come to church, you want them to hear the word of God. Um, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We know these things to be true. Sinners sit in church every day. We are all sinners. 
we are all called to no longer sin once we come to know the Lord Jesus Christ. And in the event that we find ourselves in sinful situations, the difference between Christians and non-Christians is that Christians are able to go to the Lord and say, Lord, I sinned against you. I sinned against this man, my brother, my sister. Um, please forgive me to repent and to move forward and to no longer continue to sin in that way. And um, that's the difference. But to openly, willingly, and to be happy about this sort of behavior, to ordain gay ministers and allow them to teach the flock and um, lead the people and the things of God, I'd question everything that came out of their mouth. Um, as you should anyway. Always go to your Bible and, and read that exactly. But and let the Holy Spirit reveal to you what these the words say. But anyway, just a warning against you know uh, gay ministers or or churches that preach uh, that to be homosexual and to live in that lifestyle is perfectly okay with God. That is a lie. It's not okay. You can read it for yourself. Pick up your Bible and read it. Um, thank you for listening, and um, I look forward to hearing what you guys all have to say about this. God bless. Bye-bye.